Proceed with the operation. Roger. 30 seconds. TV is action. It's pictures. It's sound. It's color. It's light. It's movement. It's motion. It's emotion. When you watch television, you almost get the impression that you're seeing reality. But the thing about television is that television is produced. Hundreds of hours go into producing a half-hour show. Maybe dozens of people have been involved in that production. My name is John Aker, and I'm a TV producer at the Minneapolis Television Network. We're a TV station, but we're a little bit different than a lot of other TV stations. We're a public access television station. Here at MTN, anyone can come in and make a show. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. We have production facilities, we have cameras, and we have editing systems, and we have studios, and we teach people how to use that equipment, and that's one of the things I do. You need a lot of gear to make a TV show. You need lights, tripods, batteries, microphones, and cables. You used to have to use just really big cameras to get anything, but these days, we got small cameras too. This is MTN Studio A. We have three cameras. We have uh, the microphones. There's a whole grid of lights to brighten up the shot, but also to give it different color and effects. Right behind me is the control room of our Studio A. Right now, there's a live show going out of there. The director has a big board that has all the cameras lined up there. He can just press buttons to switch from one camera to the other. There's also an audio person. The audio person is adjusting all the levels from all the people who are out in the studio. Yo. So you can see a lot goes on to make a live TV program. If you know how television is made, you become an active viewer. You participate in the process of how TV makes sense to you. Before you even roll the cameras, there's a whole part of the process called pre-production. You have to start with an idea figuring out where you're going to shoot it, what you're going to express, who are you going to be taping to make this piece of programming. Then there's the part of the process called production. The production end is when you take the camera out and you actually shoot video. I do a lot of uh, videotaping at different community events. I'll have the camera and get a lot of interesting shots of things going on, and then I'll also interview people. So you shot all your video with the camera. Now you want to put it all in order so someone can watch your show. That's what we do in the edit suite. This is one of our new computer-based editing systems that makes editing video as fun as playing a video game. You can move your shots all around just like this. I spend a lot of time then editing together the video that I shot, and that's all called post-production. Then you also do audio mixing. There's maybe some sound that you didn't record on location, like music that you want, uh, maybe narration, where you have someone read a prepared script. Also, you might want to add credits, titles. There's a lot of work that goes on before you finally get to see the piece of television that's actually done and then shown on the channels. So when you watch TV, you want to think about all the equipment that was needed to make it look like reality. Not reality, it's television. 